All right, some noticeable differences here between the perennial ryegrass versus the turf type tall fescue. And we'll start with the ryegrass. And I just kind of wanted to show you a few different differences here with my pointer. First thing you notice about this, this the differences here is the color on this is gonna be more of like a lime green, lighter green color. And with the fescue, you're gonna get a lot of those blades or are um, more of a deep greenish bluish color. So I really like the color on that. Um, however, my lawn is mixed with so many different blends and varieties. So it's kind of a pain because you get patches of different colors and it just looks uneven. But you know, what can you do, right? So all in all, this main video is gonna, um, the purpose of this is just to show you some identifying factors and distinguish the differences. So this is your perennial rye. And right here, you see the clasping oracle where I'm pointing to right now, it's gonna hug the sheath. So it hugs all the way around. And this is, like I said, it's more of a lighter green color. And it's got a midriff here down the center, like a big vein going down the center. Another identifying factor, as well as some of, sometimes the rise, let me see if I can find on this one here. Um, I can't really find that one, but uh, I was gonna show you. Sometimes they have a little bit of purple coloring at the bottom. Uh, this one does not, but another factor here to identify, look at the shine on that. You can see almost in the sunlight how shiny that is. So then the other side is just going to be like a matte versus the shine. Hard to tell here, but there's your si their shiny side. And then if I try to flip it over, you can see it's matte right there. And then the shine. So those are the main differences um, with the perennial rye. Here's a little bit more right here, more of a lime green color. Um, and you have your, you know, one side of the blade leaf is really shiny versus the other side, which is gonna be matte. And they have like almost these, ser these serrations that kind of run down the leaf blade right here. But these ones are not, you can't really feel these, okay? Um, as opposed to over here with the fescue, a couple identifying factors. This stuff's a little bit easier to point out because it has these leaf blades that kind of branch off with these sharp angles right here. And you can actually feel the serrations on these leaf blades. Um, see if I can try to find it here. Oh, I think I've already, right here where my finger is, you can actually feel the serration if you go like that. Um, so it's really noticeable. So aside from that color, the deep, you know, deep bluish greenish color and the color of the rye, another noticeable difference is gonna be where the sheath, um, it doesn't have an oracle that kind of clasps around the stem right here, where, right where the tip of the blade is. So there's nothing really there. It just kind of hugs right into it as opposed to this, again, where you can see the clasping oracle right here, kind of hugs it. Okay, and then here's your serrations. You can't really feel those as you know prominently as you can with the fescue. But I just kind of want to show you a few differences if you're kind of looking to identify, you know, what kind of what kind of grass you have in your lawn, and um, you can see the the difference in greens. So. My lawn, I have quite a few uh, different blends. And I know there's a little bit of bluegrass in there, but not a lot. And most, most of my lawn is gonna be the perennial rye. This stuff does stripe really well, basically because of that shine on the other side of the leaf, leaf blades. So um, that's pretty much it. Just kind of want to show you a few differences and you know, kind of what to look for if you're identifying between the, the ryegrass and the turf type tall fescue. So that's it. Uh, please be sure to like and subscribe. And thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.